If you're anything like me, you probably have countless ideas and goals and aspirations that you just can't ever really find the time for. There's so many different things I want to create, but there's this massive invisible force that is always trying to squash those aspirations. Without even trying, we have the potential to be endlessly entertained for every second of every day. I don't know how it could be possible for anyone with a smartphone and an internet connection to ever be bored. If you look at just YouTube specifically, there's 300 hours worth of videos being uploaded to YouTube every minute. That's 432,000 hours of videos every day. So you could literally decide you're only gonna watch the videos posted today on YouTube and it would take you the next 49 years to finish them all. Actually, a lot of those probably really suck. I'm guessing not all of those are entertaining. Doesn't matter, you get the point. There's a lot of stuff to entertain you. So this is where my first mantra for success comes in. Consume less, create more. <laughs> So for me, this absolutely has meaning in reducing my physical consumption. So I care a lot about reducing needless physical consumption like plastic bags and to-go cups and plastic silverware. But for this video, I'm pretty specifically focusing on digital consumption. Since we have this ability for endless entertainment, I'm a believer that you literally have to create sanctuaries to protect yourself from this endless stream of content. Sometimes you're not gonna have the mental energy to just resist scrolling Instagram or watching Netflix or YouTube, so you have to create rules for yourself ahead of time so that when you don't have a lot of mental energy, you're still able to keep up with your goals. So I've got five quick things that I've implemented into my life that I've seen massive benefit from already. first one is disabling autoplay. This is something I'm weirdly passionate about because that feature drives me nuts where you'll finish an episode on Netflix and of course it's Netflix so it's a cliffhanger of an ending and it automatically starts playing the next episode and next thing you know you've binge watched every single episode of the entire series. Now. If you want to binge watch every single episode of Stranger Things in one sitting, go for it. You should do that. But I just think I want to be the one that's choosing the next episode every time and saying, yes, I want to watch another episode. I don't want Netflix just showing it to me and sucking me in to watch another one. The second tip is downtime hours. I don't really know. I'm sure Android has something equivalent or at least an app or something. I just am only familiar with the iOS feature. but. The idea is, for me, I use downtime so that an hour before I go to bed and two hours after I wake up, my phone isn't able to get any notifications, I'm not able to open any apps, nothing. So essentially my phone is useless in those hours. That's really important to me because I don't want to be waking up to notifications and having my phone dictate the first thing I think about in the morning. I want my imagination to be able to just go wild in the morning. I want to be able to just think clearly, have creative thoughts, and get the day started without all of the distractions and the noise. And then same thing for that hour before I go to bed, I usually just kind of write down some thoughts or read a book. I just, I don't want to be scrolling social media or watching a TV show as I'm falling asleep. Third is the screen time feature. Again, another iOS feature, but I'm sure there's equivalents. Um, this is similar to the last one, but you set up time limits for each of your apps so you can decide, I only want to spend a half an hour a day on Instagram. You set that up so that your phone detects once you've used 30 minutes of Instagram, it shuts it down and you're not allowed to open it anymore. This is a sweet feature because it's like you you realize that you're literally spending time on these apps. You only have an allocated amount of time, say 30 minutes for Instagram, that you're able to spend. So when you open Instagram, you're thinking, do I actually want to be spending my 30 minutes on this right now? So it forces you to just be more intentional about how and when you're using those apps. The next tip you've probably heard before, maybe you've already done it, but it's just disabling all notifications. 
Every time you get a new app, it's gonna default to giving you all these pointless notifications that you don't need. And for me personally, I don't want any notifications on my phone for anything other than people calling me, texting me, and calendar notifications. So that's, that's all I have set up on my phone. Other than that, I don't want my phone disturbing me if I have a like or comment on Instagram or a YouTube comment, nothing like that. And so then again, you're choosing the window that you wanna spend time on Instagram instead of your phone notifying you and sucking you into the app. And then the last one is just choose one day a week that's completely free of social media. It's crazy how much lighter you feel and more creative you feel doing this and depending on how addicted you are to some of these apps it feels a little weird at first but it's been so good for me to implement that one day a week and you just kind of feel lighter and freer and you're not as influenced by all of these things you're seeing and you kind of just have more natural creative thoughts when you do that. So I know I'm focusing a lot on the consume less part of this mantra but that's because that's the hard part. I think that we're all naturally creative and we're driven by wanting to make things and build things and be productive. I think that's our natural state, but we have to give our brain the space to be creative and to be productive. If we're always filling it with digital content, it's not gonna have the time or the capacity to just wander and come up with creative thoughts and new ideas and motivation. When I implement all of these tips in my life and I'm giving my my mind that time to think in the morning and the evening I literally can't help but come up with ideas and I get so many ideas of things I want to make and it gives me the time to actually start making those things in the end consumption gets in the way of creativity consumption's literally the opposite of creation so for me I care about creating things I care about making things so I have to consume less to do that so those are just some ideas and some things that I've implemented into my life to consume less digital content and to free up room in my brain for creativity and productivity. So let me know if you have any other ideas of ways that you've found to reduce your digital consumption and to free up room for creativity. I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. Maybe just turn off autoplay right now so that another video doesn't play after this automatically and you can decide if you wanna play another video or not. Um, but that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Ow. Do you like my new banana hammock? <laughs>